Hello everyone, my name is Nick, I work performance parts here at Scoggin Dickey, and today we are going to discuss what is involved when deleting DoD out of your Gen 4 LS based V8. Uh, displacement on demand, or active fuel management as it's also called, is actually a pretty simple system. GM introduced it back in 2005 on the 5.3s that came in the Trailblazer and Envoy, and then the front wheel drive 5.3s that came in the Pontiac Grand Prix GXPs. What we're going to discuss today includes those applications as well as any Gen 4 based V8 that uses the DoD system. While GM does still use displacement on demand and a very, very similar system on the Gen 5 LT based engines that you can find in the trucks, the Camaros, the Corvettes, what we're going to discuss today, we're going to keep it to the Gen 4 LS based V8. Now, to describe how the system works, when your engine computer senses low load cruising situations, usually around town or on the highway, it will deactivate four out of the eight cylinders in your engine, essentially turning it into a V4, by cutting off fuel and spark, but it also has to shut off the valves to those engines as well. It does that through this valley cover here that kind of looks like a brain, and inside of it are these four solenoids that shoot high volume, high pressure oil into these eight ports you can see here in these circles through the block down into these lifters. These are special lifters that when that high volume, high pressure oil reaches them, they actually collapse. They still ride along the camshaft, but they do not actuate the valves. It's actually a pretty simple system, works fairly well. Unfortunately, with time, with age, that system does tend to malfunction and gets the symptom that everybody seems to hear is the ticking noise. This thing will stay collapsed, it'll get stuck and uh, you're hearing this tap against the camshaft. So as with any engine malfunction, it is best to address the situation as soon as possible. Uh, unfortunately, if this is ignored, you can lead to further engine damage. And in some extreme cases, we've seen where it's led to complete engine replacements. So uh, let's, let's stay away from that. What you get in our kits is 16 brand new lifters, four new lifter guides. You also get two head gaskets, two exhaust manifold gaskets, and a set of head bolts. You do need these parts because you have to remove the cylinder heads to get to these lifters. Uh, when it comes to the DOD manifold, the valley cover, there's a couple different ways you can delete that as well in our kits. We offer, of course, the stock valley cover on non-DOD engines. These use these O-rings to block off those ports. But if you want to save a couple bucks, another way to do it is to use these nifty bullet shaped pieces of steel that tap into those ports on the block. We offer it both ways to, uh, to help you delete that system. Um, we do get some pretty frequently asked questions with these kits in doing this uh, kind of a job. We kind of wanted to address some of those to help you guys out. The first one is, is people say, well, I'm doing a, a DOD delete. Do I have to change my camshaft? Yes, you absolutely have to. You cannot use a DOD factory cam once you delete the system. The reason we do not include a camshaft with our kits is every customer wants a different camshaft for their application. Uh, we offer everything to be purchased on the side from complete stock replacement camshafts, of course, all the way up to high performance camshafts. Uh, if you have any questions on what you need to fit your needs, feel free to give us a call. We're more than happy to help you out. Uh, another question that we get is if I'm deleting DOD, do I have to delete VVT or variable valve timing? No, you do not. They are completely separate systems, even though they are both involving the valve train. Variable valve timing is actually a pretty good system. It's proven to be relatively reliable, and it helps you maintain low end torque without sacrificing high end horsepower. If you're using a stock camshaft or a model performance camshaft, we recommend keeping it. If you are going to a higher performance camshaft, sometimes it's required to delete variable valve timing while deleting DOD. We have all the parts in stock to help you with that. When you call about your cam recommendation, ask us about that as well. We can provide those parts to you. Um, a third question that we get that's pretty common is, if I'm replacing the lifters and I'm replacing the camshaft, don't I have to replace push rods, valve springs, stuff like that? No, if you're using a stock replacement camshaft, you actually don't have to replace those parts. The push rods are the same regardless of which lifter you're using. The same thing with the valve springs, they will work as long as you're still using a stock replacement camshaft. Naturally, as you do a higher performance camshaft, you are going to need higher performance push rods, possibly at a different length. You are going to need stronger valve springs. When you call us about a cam recommendation, we can also find what parts you're going to need to replace to uh, match that new camshaft. 
Uh, last question, not as common, but people do ask is, the DOD engines came with a higher volume oil pump to go with this system. When I delete this system, do I not have to change the oil pump? No, you do not. Actually, that is perfectly fine. In turn, you get a higher volume oil pump in your new slightly rebuilt engine. Um, we have this kit as well as many more parts on our website. That is sdparts.com. Thank you for joining us today.